AITA for walking out of my husband's birthday party after he started laughing at me? IF32 just completed my treatment for a medical issue that affected my body. I had gained weight due to this medical condition and also medication and none of my old clothes were fitting anymore. I bought new fitting clothes but for my husband's birthday party. He asked me to wear one of my old dresses that was one of his favorites. To appease him I said yes although I didn't feel comfortable wearing it especially after the weight gain. He was at the restaurant with his family and friends when I arrived with my sister. As soon as he saw me walking in, he busted out laughing. He pointed at the dress and was going hysterical saying, oh my god, I felt so incredibly mad, especially when the others started laughing as well. One of his friends started whistling in a mocking tone. I turned around instantly and walked out and my sister followed me. I went home and cried a little but he kept calling non-stop. He came home and started talking about how oversensitive I was and that it was just a natural reaction he had upon seeing me in this dress again after all this time. He said I overreacted and made a scene over nothing. He also said I ruined his birthday and urged me to get therapy for this oversensitivity that I'm inflicting upon him. AITA? Did I overreact? He's so upset he refused to even receive the gift. Edit. I need to explain the way he laughed more. He first started giggling and tried to cover his mouth then. In a matter of seconds he bursted out laughing. In the middle of the restaurant. The guests were confused then they must have understood why he was laughing because they joined in. And his friend whistled at me mockingly while repeatedly turning his head like something caught his attention. Could it be the I overreacted? It could be just me getting overwhelmed because joking and laughing is not new when it comes to him. He's the kind to tease about any and everything even with family. The kids also. He also said he was caught off guard, and so I shouldn't blame him for his reaction. NTA and my jaw dropped. I legitimately cannot imagine my husband even thinking of doing that. I can't imagine my 12-year-old thinking that's appropriate behavior. Is this an isolated incident? Or is this how he behaves? What is the point of being married to someone who thinks publicly humiliating you is a totally cool and normal thing to do? This whole incident just feels like a tip of the iceberg thing he'd have to be so selfish cruel, and childish to do this, and then to attack you for it? Ah, are there any upsides to being with this guy? Edited to add, maybe you should go to therapy to do some deep thinking on how you deserve a partner who loves and respects you. You're just being too sensitive, is a common defense bullies use when they are called out on their behavior. Ah, you're NTA. Oh girl. Oh no. NTA. But he is. What kind of husband treats his wife like this? What kind of man is he? I am pretty sure if you didn't know he just showed you. He then turns it around on you and blames you? He pushed you to wear the dress even though you didn't want to. He made fun of you when you wore said dress. He stood by as you were publicly humiliated. He didn't follow you when you walked out and belittled your feelings. He told you to go to therapy not so that you're happier but so you can stop annoying him. He tears you down physically and emotionally. He denies any wrongdoing and blames only you. Why are you with him? NTA. NTA. He never should have asked you to wear something you weren't comfortable wearing. Then he laughed at you in front of a group of people. It upset you so much you left and cried and he still doesn't think he did anything wrong. WTF? I think you need to reconsider the whole marriage. Is it possible he asked you to wear the dress specifically to laugh at you? NTA. You need therapy. That's right. But not for your oversensitivity. But for your own sake, self-esteem, emotional trauma your husband is subjecting you to. 
His reaction was completely unjustified. This was bound to happen. He guilted you into wearing something you weren't comfortable in, he knew you didn't fit. He publicly humiliated you. He is blaming you. Gaslighting you. Hasn't apologized. Get a divorce pronto. Easiest way to drop dead weight. NTA. That was a dirty rotten thing he did. Even if he didn't mean to play a trick on you by telling you to wear the dress. And I'm not totally convinced he didn't do that on purpose. He should not have just burst out laughing at you. Gotten everyone else to do the same. And then scolded you for being upset about it. Maybe you should pack your things and stay with your sister for a while. Until he comes to his senses and apologizes to you. This is like a carry moment. Like a supervillain origin story. I would emerge from this stronger than ever. And damn. I would seek revenge. I'm so sorry op. What he did was horrible and cruel. NTA. Walking away was a totally badass move on your part. Imagine staying. Hell no. Now plot your next move. NTA. Your husband set you up to be bullied by him and his family and friends. Over your weight. That's not a man who should ever have the privilege of touching you again. Return his gift and keep the money. The only thing he deserves from you are divorce papers. NTA. Hope he doesn't overreact when you serve this ah with divorce papers. NTA please don't subject yourself to this. A husband doesn't subject his wife to ridicule and encourage his friends to join in. Honey I think he set you up. This sounds like a cruel way to humiliate you. He had to have known how it would fit. This is not what a partner does. That's absolutely heartbreaking up. I'm so sorry. I would seriously evaluate my relationship if this happened to me. And I don't think I would be able to be in the same home as my partner while I considered. NTA at all. Not at all. NTA don't let him gaslight you. This wasn't appropriate for him to do. His actions put you in a negative spotlight and he then allowed others to mock you. He shouldn't have laughed and he should have shut down anyone that did. Don't be uncomfortable for the sake of other people. Don't just wear the dress next time. No is a complete statement. Honey, I would talk to a professional. But about your husband, that man is a huge red flag, location flag NTA. The important thing is that you are better and healthier than when you were sick. And if your husband can't fell happy for you, for your health, and only cares about your appearance, then I'm sorry to tell you that he's not a good man. NTA you deserve better than being married to an asshole. NTA and your husband is emotionally abusing you. Why are you trying to give a gift to someone who publicly mocked you? He thinks you're being overly sensitive because he pointed and laughed about your size. I'd return the favor. While he's naked, he shouldn't be so sensitive. NTA. NTA but your husband and the other people who laughed sure are. A group of grown ass people pointing and laughing at someone they're supposed to love and support. And then calling them oversensitive for not wanting to endure ridicule is embarrassing. I hope you're doing okay. Ah. And I hope your husband decides to grow up soon. When he came home, he should have tripped over the bag you packed for him. NTA. Oh honey this broke my heart. The fact you even had to justify your weight gain is so sad to me. This is your husband. The person who is supposed to love and uplift you through everything. Even if he was trying not to laugh. He was so so incredibly cruel. He's lucky I wasn't also dining at the restaurant because I'd have given him an earful even as a stranger. And then the audacity of that man to tell you that you need therapy for being oversensitive. You are not overly sensitive. I don't typically tell people to throw the whole man away because marriage is complicated. 
But this man does not behave like he loves you. A good husband in this scenario would, if anything, feel bad that he asked you to wear something uncomfortable and put you in this situation and would do whatever it took to help you feel confident at dinner. An EHH, husband still laughs but immediately apologizes and follows you out of the restaurant and makes an effort to be more sensitive to things you're self-conscious about. A bad husband is what yours did but apologizes with an eye roll at the end of the evening. Your husband is a few notches below that. I hope you do get some therapy. But I want to see you work on your self-esteem. Holding boundaries. And to see how wonderful you are and know that you deserve good things and people who treat you. Well heart. If you enjoyed this video, please check out our playlists full of similar content. Epic Heracast is like doom scrolling for your ears. Please like, share, and subscribe.